What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Jang Zoe YouTube video. Now today I'm checking out this brand new microphone that I got. Uh, it is a very cheap microphone but it fit on my boom arm and I thought I'd try that a really cheap version before I uh, fork out the money to um, get a boom arm for my more expensive mic. It's not super expensive, the HyperX. Uh, but I thought, hey, why not try this first, see what it sounds like, see if the audio is okay. And I thought, hey, let's just scroll through Twitter and uh, have a look at what's going on. So uh, as you can see here, the Road Warriors Doomsday Device versus the Dudley Boys 3D. Now, I know this isn't really a wrestling channel and I don't really do a lot of wrestling stuff I have before, but uh, yeah, I'm going to say the Doomsday Device. It was just pretty insane. Like I remember the first time I seen it, it was cool. The 3D requires a lot more... Uh, unison like it requires them to be a lot more in in like you know together which was cool like even on the undertaker look, that looks beautiful but anyway uh i digress we'll scroll down a little bit um also leave a comment down below uh also like and subscribe but let me know what it sounds like does it sound bad does it sound good does it sound better than my normal videos uh so yeah let me know what you guys think and I just wanted to, I did see DBG tweet this 23 minutes ago, and I just wanted to have a little bit of a conversation about it. Uh, he said, I don't see how you can watch these playoffs and argue that today's players are soft or don't care about winning. Now, just that on top, I, I think I kind of have to agree. I feel like people look at the style of basketball today, more skilled overall. Um, I don't think you can argue that. I think the level, the skill level of players today is higher as an overall, like an average, uh, that is higher than what older players, like, you know, 80s, 70s, 60s, uh, you're going back, you know, that that far. Um, mainly because, you know, the games evolved, players back then only had to do the things that they had to do, um, where today the players have to do more than that. But once again, it is also just what they have to do today. It's the way that they play, and it will continue to evolve. evolve. It always will. Um, but like he commented underneath, Luca can barely walk, and he's given you 40 minutes a night. Embiid had a knee injury, and Bell's palsy, and played every game. Uh, Josh Hart is playing 45 minutes a night while giving you almost 15 boards at six foot four. Like, insane. Josh Hart is one, like, he's going insane. Uh, I believe Tibbs is his coach, so it's not really that surprising that um, one of his players has been run off the court. But, you know, he's doing it. He's fighting. He's, he's playing hard. And then uh, 2K Sweats underneath commented, this Knicks team is the grittiest, most hardworking team I've seen in years. We gave we gave a ton of injuries and still staying close in games. I think you meant to say we have we have a ton of injuries and still staying close in games. Uh, then uh, DJ, it's mainly just when the Celtics lose. Then ATL or Stony, whatever that whatever that name is. Uh, even the Minnesota coach got injured. Like you know, come on. Uh, then Wu goes, uh, it's a lot of flopping and complaining to the refs also, though, which I agree that does happen. But, I mean, you can search, you know, 90s players complaining to referees. They did the same. Like, no basketball player ever thinks that they fouled when they fouled. It's just, it's like, I mean, even myself, when I'm, like, just playing local comp, and it's like, you know, I'll foul someone and go, what? Oh, I didn't touch him, even though I know I did. Like, you know, it's just, it is what it is. And I feel like it's become part of the the culture of NBA now where you argue the point of whether you fouled or not to then try and influence the next call, which is just, it is what it is. It's just the way the, way the game's gone. Uh, let's see what else is happening on Twitter. Um, no, I don't really care about Halo. Took Kai Snow nearly six hours, 123 deaths to beat the first optional boss in Elden Ring. I'm not a big Kai Sinat fan, personally, but anyway. Uh, Dwight Howard said, remember I said Minnesota in five. Yeah, so so funny Dwight says that because, um, yeah, I, I didn't even touch on it. I haven't done a video on it, but yeah, uh, Denver won game three today. Um, and yeah, just insane. Man, Dwight Howard was insane, really. Like, let's just watch this video. Can we take this back? They asked, what can he offer? Man, Dwight was insane. And this was Lakers Dwight. If 
think people forget how good Dwight Howard was. Like, people seen the old Dwight, and they forget how good he really was. Dude was a defensive beast. Like, just insane. Dwight Howard. Shout out to Dwight Howard. Coach Howard, I'll have them Lakers right. <laughs> that would be hilarious if Dwight Howard coached the Lakers. Put my name in the coach's pool at this point, and I could coach a team to at least the first round. <laughs> Do you like my top five? Let's have a look at this. Let's see who he's got in his top five. So it's top five players he played with. I think it's like by position. I feel like you kind of skirted the question a little bit. Is it for basketball or for like just my, hanging out? My favorite team is. No, no, we're hooping, man. Oh. Okay, let me go back. <laughs> right, let's see how he goes. Kobe, AD, my son, and one more. Ooh. See, I'll probably win some games. Ooh. Maybe I think you get, I get probably winning some games. That's winning, winning the title. That's crazy. That man, imagine AD and Dwight side by side in their primes. That would be insane. If Luca won, would it have been a snub? I think he's talking about SGA. I don't think it would have been because Luca hasn't won one before. I think because was it talking about MVPs? I think because uh, Jokic has won so many, they're kind of like, oh, it's a snub. But yeah. Linsanity was crazy. Who's that? Brian Windows. Linsanity was crazy. This is Brunsanity. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, this is just a short video. To test out the mic. Let me know uh, what you guys think of it. Was it good enough? Is it decent? Uh, what's the sound like? I enjoy having it closer um, to my face and being able to move it around, not being back on the desk where it's here and all my banging and clicking and kicking things under the desk and stuff like that. So, yeah. Um, yeah, let me know what, what you think of it. And uh, also make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, um, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll um, catch you guys on the next one. Peace.